WBTV is all new at 6 o'clock, though. Starting on your side tonight, we are hearing more details behind the decision of a Charlotte area lawmaker to change her party affiliation from Democrat to Republican. Thank you for watching WBTV here all new at 6 o'clock. I'm Molly Grantham. And I'm Jamie Bull. The move by Trisha Cotham gives Republicans super majorities in both chambers of the legislature, which means they can override a veto from Governor Roy Cooper, a Democrat. Only WBTV's chief investigative reporter Nick Oxner sat down with Cotham before today's big announcement. He joins us live tonight in Raleigh. Nick, certainly big news among the politicians there in the building behind you. Uh, but tell us how this is going to impact average people. Yeah, Jamie, now that Republicans have that supermajority and have the numbers built in to pass basically whatever legislation they want, that means they haven't, or that's a dynamic they haven't had in years. And what we expect to see is they'll use that new dynamic, that, that strength in numbers, on everything from what the budget this year looks like to abortion bill bans. I asked both Trisha Cotham and the House Speaker about those topics. When you talk about the people who elected you to come to Raleigh, they elected you as a Democrat. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to the people in your district who thought they were sending Democrat Trisha Cotham to Raleigh that they now are being represented by Republican Trisha Cotham? I am still who I am. And there are people who think you automatically make this switch because in their mind, in their perception, and what they've seen on TV, the Facebook ads that run through them that, you know, now she's going to be some monster, some this, some that. That's not true. Are the Republicans going to be able to depend on Representative Cotham to deliver a vote, a veto-proof vote on an abortion bill, for instance? Well, there's no bill right now that I am aware of. I have never been the party, uh, as, you know, as a former Democrat, where someone where groups supported me on those issues, um, I was not going to be bullied by them. You know, I've will always support the LGB community for sure. Um, that's who I am, and I, you know, and I made that very clear that there are some things I'm still going to be supportive of. Abortion is a hard issue for everyone. After hearing Cotham's position on a potential abortion bill, I asked House Speaker Tim Moore about what he planned to do with his new supermajority. We don't have those votes, but something around the 12 weeks appears to be where things are shaping up right now. Do you think there will be times when Representative Cotham votes different than how most of the caucus thinks to vote? You know, I don't know, uh, and she will certainly be free if she needs to do that. Uh, she's been very clear. She's a centrist. It is a betrayal to the people of Mecklenburg County with repercussions not only for the people of her district, but for the entire state of North Carolina. But that question on key bills like abortion restrictions are exactly what state Democratic Party Chair Anderson Clayton singled out in criticizing Cotham at a press conference Wednesday. Reproductive freedoms are on the line. Our public schools are on the line. LGBTQ rights are on the line. Yes. Voting rights are on yes. the line. Yes. Our future as a state is on the line. Yes. Cotham says that criticism has led to threats on the safety of her and her children. She now travels with a security detail at the legislature and in Charlotte. I've had people try to be a surprise in my office. I've had people come to my home. I've had people reach out to my children. I've had people take down my security cameras. There are a lot of things that have happened. My sit down with Representative Trisha Cotham will continue tonight at 7.30 on On Your Side Tonight. Specifically, I asked Cotham, whose mother, County Commissioner Pat Cotham, is a Democrat. I wanted to know, how did she break the news to her longtime elected official, Democratic mother, that she was changing parties and becoming a Republican? We'll have that when I join you, Jamie, coming up at 7.30. For now, reporting live at the legislature in Raleigh, Nick Oxner, WBTV, On Your Side. Big news across the state today. Nick, we'll see you at 7.30. Thank you. Molly?